Incom T-65 X-Wing is the fighter that killed the Death Star. An almost perfect balance of speed, maneuverability, and defensive shields makes this the fighter of choice for Rogue Squadron, except when the mission profile disallows it. In addition to four blaster cannons, the X-Wing can carry a number of proton torpedoes. It's powered by four fusion thrust engines and requires an onboard astromech droid for peak performance. This is a new craft, fast, light, and unpredictable. The V-Wing carries two blaster cannons which can be fired at a normal rate or in the rapid-fire position. Rapid-fire is useful for strafing ground targets, but it overloads the cooling units and can often cause a complete burnout. In addition, the thrust engines have been modified to supply an incredible amount of power over a short distance. These are generally used to evacuate a pilot from a dangerous area as the V-Wing carries no shields and very little armament. That said, the V-Wing is extremely nimble and stealthy, and is an even match for most adversaries. The Y-Wing is the workhorse of the Rebel fleet. It's not quick or flashy, but it gets the job done. The armor on this ship is extensive, and the shields will protect you from just about anything, which is good, because you won't be going anywhere fast. The Y-Wing is used mainly as a bomber, because it can carry a heavy payload of missiles, torpedoes, and bombs. The other important weapon is the topside ion cannon, which rather than destroying a target, can disable it for later capture. Our cannons have a computer-assisted auto-fire feature, so don't forget that when you're in the heat of battle. This is a Corellian YT-1300 freighter. I don't know where this ship came from, but it is not within the set parameters for a civilian transport. It has been illegally modified with two quad guns, one mounted cannon, several escape pods, a completely new sublight engine, several stealth and communications jamming additions, and a large secret cargo area. Not the prettiest ship, but an excellent choice, if you were a smuggler. The flight of Y-Wings captured this TIE interceptor. Hobby helped us decipher its various flight components. It's extremely agile and, as with the TIE fighter, completely unshielded. It sports four laser cannons at the tips of its wings and is so maneuverable a skilled pilot can literally fly circles around an X-Wing. It should be interesting to see what Rebel pilots can do with this kind of technology. Snow speeder, modified with armor plating, stronger outboard laser cannons, and a harpoon tow cable for the rear gunner is not a true flight craft, but a repulsor craft, so the flight ceiling is quite low. It hugs the ground well and is also quite maneuverable, but the addition of deflector shields was deemed costly and time-consuming, so watch yourself. The controls are quite similar to the X-Wing, so don't worry about additional training. The A-Wing is the fastest fighter we have, capable of matching a TIE interceptor in speed. Twin J-77 Event Horizon engines power the craft, and twin blaster cannons provide offensive weaponry. However, what we gain in speed, we lose in defense. The deflector shield capability is significantly less than the X-Wing. So make sure you use your speed to dodge lasers rather than relying on shields. The A-Wing also carries a limited number of missiles. 